Hey guys, this is Brandon, also known as Drip Guide on the Telegram group. I have uh, designed a spreadsheet today um, that is uh, a really good uh, compound interest calculator. There have been so many questions about how often uh, somebody should hydrate and so this spreadsheet uh, actually factors in. It allows you to um, control how often you hydrate and put that in as a number of hours between hydrates and it also factors in the um, the cost involved because every time you hydrate you have to pay a fee in BNB um, so please like the video comment subscribe and hit me up in telegram uh, or leave a comment down below um, and uh, I can get you this spreadsheet. So first thing you have to do is come over here and grab the current price of drip. This is the uh, BNB to drip ratio. This is how many BNB it costs to buy one drip token. So you copy that. Then you go here to the spreadsheet. You paste it into your BNB drip ratio. Next, you put in your starting amount. This is how, however many drip tokens you currently have deposited. And this is a gas fee. Um, I calculated this based on the average price that I've paid in BNB across um, many, many different hydrate transactions. Um, so that's about what I've been paying on average. You can paste in your own number there, whatever you've been paying in BNB each time you do a hydrate. Um, and then here you can control, like it says, the hours, the number of hours between hydrates. So I'm going to start with 24 and I'm going to show you a, a way that you can use this spreadsheet to figure out the best uh, frequency for you for your deposit size um, so this column here this is just the hydrate number so this is your original deposit this is day zero this is where it starts this is your first hydrate your second hydrate your third hydrate etc this day column tells you what day it is so obviously if you hydrate every 24 hours then those are going to correspond to each other. Your your third hydrate is going to be on day three, right? But if you put in 12 hours, for example, that means you're hydrating twice a day. And so you're actually going to hydrate your first time on day zero. You're going to hydrate for the second time on day one. And the third hydrate is also going to happen on day one. Um, and you can see how the day column keeps track of what day it is and that way what you can do is um, and it's up to you I, I, I was I've been looking at day 90 to try to make a, a, a determination as to whether or whether it was beneficial to hydrate more often than less and for me um, that was the big question should I be hydrating every day or should I be hydrating twice a day? And does it really help? So um, so let's go back to 24 and I wanna show you how to use this. So the interest is what you, what you earn. I used a simple formula. I did it times 0.95% because remember every time you hydrate you do have to pay a 5% tax. Um, and then I'm simply dividing the uh, the number of hours between hydrates by 24 because obviously like if you hydrate every half day you're only going to earn 12 divided by 24 which is half of that interest okay and then the uh, the claimed column just keeps track of of how how many drip tokens you've claimed out remember every time you hydrate it is a claim plus a deposit um, so you it, it does get counted against your claims every time you hydrate um, the gas spent column is pretty self-explanatory so each time you hydrate it's just adding that gas fee to the previous 
amount. And so that just keeps growing and growing over time because it costs B and B every time you hydrate. That's obvious, right? Um, the deposit column keeps track of your current deposit. Um, so when you start this, uh, it just starts with, as I have it input here, 10 drip. Um, and then this deposit, this is um, considering what your deposit will now be after you uh, claim and hydrate that interest that was earned the day before or the hydrate before. Um, so that keeps going up each each hydrate by the amount uh, that it was before plus the interest that you just hydrated into it. So that keeps track of your ongoing deposit. That's important, right? You're, you're growing your deposit each time you hydrate. That's the point of hydrating is you're growing the number of drip tokens that you have on deposit, okay? The max payout column is simply your current deposit times 3.65. That's, that's the way max payout is calculated. I just kind of threw it in there just so you can see where, where your max payout would be um, based on all your hydrating. Now, and this is the key here. This is the total value of your account in BNB. Now, how did I calculate that? I simply took the, the current amount of your deposit and multiplied it times the BNB to drip ratio. That tells you how many BNB your current deposit is worth. And, and I also subtracted out the amount of BNB that you spent to get yourself there. Okay, so this is the first uh, calculator that I've seen that actually factors in the gas that you're spending each time that you hydrate. Okay, so here's how you do it. You put in your deposit, your current deposit amount, whatever it is, um, and you put in, you know, start with 24 hours and see, okay, so what am I gonna, where am I gonna be on day 90? So then you just scroll down until you see day 90 right here, and, and you can see what I did here. Uh, this is from a previous calculation. So this is gonna tell you your total account value again in BNB. So you simply copy that and then you come over here and you paste it as a number. You don't want to paste the formula, you want to paste the actual number. So, okay, so now you know if you compound every 24 hours on day 90, your account is going to be worth 2.95 BNB. Okay, and that makes an assumption that all the prices stay the same. The ratio stays the same, the gas fee stays the same. Um, I mean, really, the gas fee is probably going to be pretty consistent. This is the only thing. This is totally unknown. We have no idea what the ratio is going to be 90 days from now. But you can't <laughs> you can't make a calculation based on an unknown. So that is that is one assumption here uh, that the numbers that you see on this spreadsheet are assuming that the BNB ratio BNB drip ratio stays constant. Okay, so then let's look at 12 hours, so twice a day. Now notice your 90th hydrate is actually on day 45, right? Because you're hydrating twice a day. So don't look at this number. It's not, it's not apples to apples. This is only day 45. So let's scroll down and let's look at day 90 considering that we're hydrating <clears throat> twice a day, it's actually going to be our 180th hydrate is going to happen on day 90. So what's our account value at that point? So copy that, paste it as a number, as a value. So now you can see compounding twice a day, my account value would be 2.81 BNB but compounding just once, once a day, 2.95. So with this size of an account, this is the minimum deposit currently, but starting with only 10 drip, um, it, it doesn't appear to be worth it to compound more than once a day. And in fact, you might wanna go over here and check out the numbers for 
compounding every two days. Let's just check it. Now your first hydrate is actually on day two, your second hydrate is on day four, and so on. So let's look at day 90. Where'd it go? There it is. So that actually seems to be the best deal. And again, this is based on a, um, a 10 drip starting deposit. But that's the biggest number. On day 90, you've got three BNB. That's even more than compounding once a day. So you can mess around with your, or you can customize this to your drip amount. And let me just show you one more thing that is pretty interesting. So one of my wallets has about 300 drip in it. So I wanted to see, okay, where would I be? So day 90, and that's what those numbers were. Hydrating once a day, I've got an account value valued at 92.6 BNB. But what if I go every 12 hours? Scroll down. Day 90. And you don't have to do this copy paste. You can just write down the numbers doing your own analysis and trying to figure out for yourself what is the ideal frequency of hydrating. So this is um, <clears throat> 92.6 BNB hydrating twice a day and 92.6 BNB hydrating once a day. So that's interesting. So now you could also take this out. You can see where you'd be you know, after 180 days or whatever. That's the basics of using the spreadsheet. So hope you like it. Um, yeah, and just either comment or, or hit me up in, in the Drip um, Telegram. Um, I'll have some links down below. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to hit the like.